Do you ever have a problem with getting your UV curing light in those tight recessed places and making sure that your model is fully cured? Or if it's hollow, get, making sure that inside is cured? Well, join me today as I have a solution to that problem from the wonderful company of Frozen in regard to their uh, Frozen Cure Beams. So join me inside as we unbox this and take a look at this and see if it's a tool you might need for your tool bench. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, as I said, we are taking a look at the Frozen Cure Beam. Now, these are this is a box with two probes with very fine ultra cure beams. Now, why do you need this? I have a curing flashlight or I have a washing cure station. Well, you know, those don't always reach those tight recessed cresses and stuff like that, but also there's other applications for it. So Frozen just released recently in the last couple weeks a UV cured putty to help put models together with and fill in those gaps. Now the cool thing about that is, one, it's a putty to help fill in gaps, which is ooh bueno, and I'm really anxious to get that, and yes, I do have it on the way, but a lot of times I find problems where the model just isn't fully cured in spots, or I'm taking resin with a brush and brushing over an area to smooth it out. Now granted, there's the palm beacon and stuff like that, but this is meant for very precise, very clean curing on a, on a, on a model. So kind of keep that in mind as we unbox this, we put it together, we're going to move over to the desk to do that. And we're going to take a closer look at this guy because I think it's going to be really cool, especially if you're doing like figurine models and stuff and you got to get up in that armpit. Could be very useful because some models block where areas that need to be cured. So from the big lights. So we want to make sure these little lights are probably going to help you get those small spark, small spots cured and be very useful on your desk as well. So stick around. Let's move over to the desk. But before we do that, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy this content or have anything curious about 3D printing at all. Also, make sure you guys give this a thumbs up. That helps the video out gets it out there for more people to see YouTube likes that. So, and also any questions about 3D printing, make sure you leave that down in the comments below. Well, let's move over to that desk and let's take get this thing out of the box. All right, so here we are. Nice, pretty box, great packaging, but the frozen cure beam, we've got two probes that we can work with. So let's get this thing out of the box and take a look at it. So single page, step-by-step -step instructions. Well, not single page, but depending on your language. So we've got timered functions. We've got channels one and two and power. And of course, you know, the usual safety stuff. Don't stare at the UV light. Uh, you know, don't, don't do that. So we've got UV protective glasses. Always good to have protective eyewear. Actually, let's uh, switch over here so you guys can get a better view of the main unit here. So very simple. Timer, channel 1 and 2. Power button, channel 1 and 2. And let's get the probes out here. So the probes are very simple, very clean, very elegant looking. Let's get the power cord out here. And... Really nice, sturdy packaging in there. Keep these things safe while they're traveling. That's always a great thing. But like I was saying earlier in the uh, in the discussion here, this is for precision curing. Now, what do I mean by precision curing? Well, if you're like me, and you know you're working on projects all over the place, you're got FD. This can be handy even for us FDM guys. Because sometimes with an FDM print, I will take resin to help fill in the lines and sand it. Well, this is a real simple way to get in those nooks and crannies and really do thin curing of those thin lines without having to have a big old bulky tool or a little flashlight or anything like that. This tool is meant to cure. So we'll get this guy plugged into channel one. We're going to hit the power button. We're going to hit channel one. And you guys can see on the table, that's a pretty high powered light. So one thing that sometimes for me, where this is going to be really handy is drilling. Sometimes I do really big prints and they're hollow. 
Well, sometimes that doesn't drain out enough, and of course it doesn't cure in there because the light can't get in there. Well, I can drill a hole enough that, honestly, that really great beam can get in there and help solidify that internal surface, which means no rent, no leak post leakage or anything like that and stuff and kind of along that line. And these probes, I will say for as little as these are, that's a lot of power coming out of those lights. I'm going to plug in channel two. I'm going to turn it on. Oop, I'm going to immediately unplug channel two. <laughs> and you can see we've got some really strong those are really strong lights for curing from those little bitty probes. I mean, that probe is half of what the thickness of my, I'd say maybe quarter inch. Actually here, I can actually tell you roughly a quarter of an inch. Ooh, they do get hot though. So don't get your fingers near the tip, but yeah. So small precision curing, getting in there, um, getting into really tight spaces with the model and start carrying in spots that you're working on. Um, model overlaying, if you need to do just a thin line, this is great for the FDM, um, for carrying resin on top of the FDM print to make it safe and easy to work with. Very easy, very simplistic. I love the small compact design. The box was very uh, deceiving to the design of this. I mean, that's reality this isn't even a quarter of the box most of the box was the glasses um, really simple to use um, nice timer functions up to 10 minutes very elegant simple design I like this a lot this is going to be a very handy tool in my shop and if like I said if you're even doing FDM or resin this frozen tool can be really helpful in curing stuff and it's honestly really easy to store Unplug your two leads and then put this guy away in your drawer. Not a lot of space take up. Really kind of elegant design, really beautiful design. I love the cords because I'm not stuck to a single device. I can actually, like say, you know, you've got someone with their arm like this. I can actually get up in and get into these recesses and cure without just hoping for a light to get across there. Um, so really... Elegant tool, simplistic. I love the take apart. I love the timer. Um, and honestly, I've used, I've shown videos where I have the little flashlight and stuff like that. This is even, this is so small, so elegant, and so tight bounded. This is going to cure stuff pretty quick. So definitely an awesome tool. Hope you guys give it a check out. Link down in the description to it. Um, I'll have a link to Frozen and a link to, if this is available on Amazon, I'll have an affiliate link down there. So let's move to close out the video, guys. All right, guys, that's unboxing it, taking a look at it. Here's the unit a little bit up close. The camera's not going to focus it, but, you know, that is what it is. So simple little two-channel. You got your two little probes. And, of course, I don't have the power cord in it, but then you've got your two little probes that just kind of make life a little easier. Um, definitely going to be a tool that I utilize with curing resin curing. Um, go check it out on the Frozen website or check the links down below. Make sure, see if this is out in Amazon in the U.S. so you can get better shipping costs. So definitely a great little tool. Give it a check out. If you like what you saw today on this channel, definitely hit that subscribe button and join us. If you have any questions about this or any other curing process, definitely ask down in the comments down below. And if you can, give us a thumbs up so we know you guys enjoyed this kind of content. So we'll see you guys in the next video.